Look guys, this here is the module for force feedback steering wheel projects. I'm going to start the test here without volume so you guys can hear the friction, the force feedback. Since my desk is made of metal, you'll be able to hear the vibration I'm feeling while holding the steering wheel. Look there, look at the ABS working. Let's hit the wall over there. You guys are hearing the noise, right? This here is the grass effect, soft. Here's what I'm gonna do. This module will eliminate the need for encoders, those external encoders and the structure to support the encoder. So when it comes to actual handling racing in practice, you don't need a 1000 point encoder. In practice, you don't need that. So this here is more than enough. You don't have any play in the steering wheel because of this relationship here. So with this module, you can already have your force feedback steering wheel working directly on your computer. Remember that this module here was made for heavy duty robotics. Each one of these modules can handle pushing 150 kilograms on a motor. So you don't necessarily need to have one of those motors that people buy that are three centimeters thick. Of course, if you have a motor like that, the force is going to be much stronger, but you don't need to. Why? Because this module is much stronger than the other projects, which are the 25 volt modules, if I'm not mistaken. This one here is 36 volts with 350 watts of power. It's much stronger than those over there. So you guys don't need to worry so much about finding the best motor. You get it? And then you guys will receive exactly this here, the module and the USB connection. And in a moment, I'll show you how you install this. On your steering wheel that will have a scooter motor, hoverboard. Any three-phase BLDC motor for your force feedback project. Here I'll show you how to install the module for the force feedback steering wheel project. This here is the steering wheel with the motor. Here is the standard hoverboard motor. Everyone knows it. Ah, here are the phase cables. You'll have the colors here. Easy to recognize. This here is the hall sensor cable. This connector here you can find at any electronic store. I put it here myself. Then you'll need any push button. Then you'll have to buy one that fits your structure. I like this one for testing. And a power cable. This board here accepts 36 volts. So that's basically the installation. And then going to the computer, you'll have the USB connection. So that's basically the installation. I'll turn it on here and we'll see how the installation works for the computer. So after you've already installed the motor on the board and the cable from the board to the computer, which is all you need, a motor, the board and the cable. You'll open this compressed file here that you received. Unzip it. Inside the folder, you'll find the Malbavio Cockpit Program version 3. No need to install, just unzip it. So you'll double click here. It will accept. And since it's the first system installation, it will install its driver. Your steering wheel's driver. So you click OK, then it's already installed here. Your steering wheel will be recognized as VJoy device. Then it's already installed. So it's saying it's already installed. Then it will restart the program. Done. Now here's your steering wheel with the driver already installed and recognized. 
now that you've installed it, you can, I'm handling the steering wheel with my hand here. Now you can also test the force force feedback here just for testing. On this button here, you can see that it keeps alternating here. Force feedback from plus 80 to minus 80. And here it's turning my steering wheel. That's basically it. Let's highlight here that its encoder is digital. And it has 90 points. So here I'm going to set a limit. So you guys can see the evidence of this. I'll set it here at point zero. I'm turning the steering wheel with my hand at point zero. I turn one point here. The point goes to four degrees. Four degrees on your steering wheel represents about half a centimeter. It's a small thing here on the steering wheel. So when it comes to actual handling during racing, in practice, you don't need a 1000 point encoder. Got it? In practice, you don't need that. So this here is more than enough. You don't have any play in the steering wheel because of this ratio here. So guys, that's basically it. Here you choose the range you'll use on your steering wheel. And the power. You see, that board you guys received is pretty powerful. I personally have never played beyond 45. I usually play at 30. The 15 comes with pretty interesting power. Really nice to play with. With all the force feedback details. So guys, that's it. This is the installation. Happy gaming to you all. All right, so basically that was the test. And if you need it, just get in touch and I'll send it to you. Remember that you'll receive this, this module, like this. You'll receive this here and you'll have to get the other parts. You'll have to choose the connector that you think works best, the button that best fits your setup. And that's about it. Thanks guys.